Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to create a tensile fabric, an adaptive tensile fabric that you can add to your model, to your project or mass. Now in this project we have this mass and I want to add a tensile fabric in this empty area here as a shading. First step is to go to file for up and uh, go new and family you have to choose metric generic model adaptive open it of course we're uh, doing a new one we we want to go to the reference level and draw reference planes say distance is mirror it Again, reference plane, another one here. After that, you need to create reference points added to the intersections of the reference planes. Select all reference points, filter to select only points, and convert them to adaptive. Draw splines that connect the adaptive points. Let's escape. Escape. Escape and we're done. Now select all the splines and click create form. A form will be created and you can go to the, uh, to the 3D view to see it. Now you can move your points according to the shape of your, of your desire, like what do you want your shape to look like, okay for example. Now in my project I want this to be done, so let's go to the front view. Okay. And now after I'm done, I will add it to my project, import it to my project, or you can save it uh, so, so you can use it later if you want. Load to my project, project one. Okay, now before I load it, I need to create lines where I can place my model or my uh, adaptive component, which is the tensile fabric. So I will escape now because I forgot to do it. So uh, I will add the lines first. Let's edit this mass in place. Okay. And let's go to the top view. I will add reference lines. to divide the path and I want only three points to be there in here okay I'll copy this one yeah. okay uh, where's my poem ah it's down now it's here no problem I can just delete it and copy this one because I didn't select the plane where I want to draw that's why this happened okay okay so let's go to edit and place for the mass okay uh, I want to add a reference line here in the middle so I can put the tensile fabric uh, on a reference okay let's say from here till here 
and I want this path to be divided uh, to three points only okay and uh, okay let's finish the mass uh, I can even add here some lines but it's fine because uh, we already have a reference where I can put it okay now let's go back to the to our model the family and exported or loaded sorry loaded in the project okay now it's not there but I can simply go to family generic models family tool and I will just click and drag okay I have to place it point by point and you have to follow this order the same order that you have in the adaptive component you can see it there now I can of course I don't want my membrane to look like this so I can just move the points you see now if I select this point I, I cannot move it I don't have the transform lines uh, of this point I can just go to host and click not not associated and then I can do whatever I want okay and this point I don't know why it's here the same thing up and I think it's fine just need this middle line to be middle point to be a little bit lower the same as this one Okay, I know it's not perfect, but I think you got the idea. You can just play with this form. Uh, now, of course, I don't want to leave it this way. I need to uh, give it a material. So what you can do is you have to go to the family again, edit family. Okay, uh, select, go to the 3D view, select the fabric and uh, in the properties, go to materials and finishes, click on this box. You see, we don't have a parameter, so we need to add one here. Okay, name it material. Okay, and just click OK. Load it in the project again. And click this. Okay, now select it and go to edit type. And you can see that this is on now and you can select the material for your fabric. I already looked for the fabric before so it's here okay and okay and you can see that now it's ready we can still play with it and do it the way we want okay thank you for watching uh, that's it for this video I hope you enjoy it